Hello everybody, Scrabble here, and welcome to another episode of Enter the Gungeon for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I have spent uh, a little bit of time playing Flint Hook, and I imagine my uh, Flint Hook quick look is up by now. That is a 2D platformer roguelike, and it's really fun. But it also involves shooting, and some of the controls for shooting are a little different. So I'm going to say maybe it's going to influence my game, maybe not. But we will certainly find out. Whoa! Okay. That's not fair that we had someone with so much firepower down there who had not fired at all up until that point. That's a little unfair. I don't normally declare things unfair, but I wasn't ready for it. And I guess that's my bad. I gotta learn to be ready for things like that. Oh good. And he hit me too. This is not shaping up to be a great run. I'm hoping for the best, but just so you know, I've had better beginnings to runs. But I've also had beginnings that haven't done so well, and then I've just turned it fun around. I gotta remember those bats that lead me. I also have news in that, uh, my coworker that I convinced to get the game uh, has been enjoying it and is probably uh, gonna surpass me anytime now. And I don't think he got down to floor three, but based on what he told me, he certainly got to a boss on floor two. And he encountered a boss that I haven't seen before a wall or a door. I definitely don't think I've seen a door. Which I find kind of weird because, like, I've been playing this a fair bit. Maybe there's something funny we have to do to trigger a good boss battle with a door. We haven't had it yet. Alright. The casings come towards us and we know the room has been cleared. There's the boss. We haven't found the shopkeeper yet, so that's still to come. Ooh. All right, that's that room. Perfect. Okay, so we've seen a brown chest. We've seen a green chest. Green chests aren't too bad. We'll come back up here. Shopkeeper up here? Yeah, shopkeeper up here. Ah, and another blue chest. But all these chests are locked. And I only have one key. Ooh, or a gun is okay. I don't mind that one. A crossbow is okay for a starting weapon. It's not really what I'm looking for. Now, if you gave me some keys, then I might be willing to check out some of these treasure chests. Whoa! Ah! Yeah, we just lost out on 20 casings thanks to that. And I don't want to spend all of my keys going down. So let's see what we get for this key. Some sort of sniper rifle. Hexagon. I've had this before. I've had this one before. I think it was okay. It looks like the weapon um, Doc Brown would use. In Back to the Future 3, he builds himself some sort of sniper rifle. Whoa. Ah. Break those. Ah. 
Nope. What do we say to the god of death? Not today. Did my blank hurt him? That seems kind of weird. Oh, what's an eye patch do? Hit harder less often? Increases damage at the cost of accuracy. The runes carved into the leather of this eye patch represent a bargain with Caliber, a revered gun goddess. In exchange for depth perception, she will bless each bullet fired. And we are going to purchase a key while we are up here. Just so that when we run into treasure chests on floor two, we have a key. That seems like a good idea for me. And we'll keep the hexagon on since it uh, seems to have pierce. It goes through everything, which is quite nice. Slow to reload, so probably better for bosses than for room clearing. But uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. You never know. I think I just clipped through the walls of that elevator. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's good. You can't complain about that, right? I mean, maybe you could. I know some people like to complain. Hey, ammo box. Now we can't complain. Ammo refilled. Uh, uh-oh. Got him. Ah! A gun driver. Take it, that gun driver. That's a great that I miss with my sniping and he doesn't. We'll take more ammo. That's cool. I don't remember what this is. I'll use it. Oh, okay. Uranium amulet, table tech blanks, and a blank. You can, can't aim where they are. You must aim where they are going to be. No kidding. Uranium amulet at uh, 78. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe we'll have enough to get it. And through there. We got a shopkeeper up here. What's he got? Loot bag. 10,000 case. I don't... You have to steal that, right? There's no way. Oh, beehive is great. There is no... No way that we would be able to afford 10,000 casings in a run. I just don't see it as being possible. Okay, that room's nice and clear. Onward we go. Whoa. Holy cow, look at these guys. Right, that's one. That's two. I would recommend that he does not spawn in the fire. And the fact that we keep reloading our ammo is great. Oh, we get the beehive, which I think we want the beehive more than I want the random item in the treasure chest. So I don't think I'm gonna buy that key. Hopefully we find a key, but if we can get 13 more casings, then we can just buy the beehive. And I'm not sure there's much better than shooting bees in our ass. Right? Like, you shoot someone with a bee gun, they know that you're unhappy with them. We also don't have to worry about our accuracy being lowered because the bees are homing. Because of course they are, right? Bees know where they're going. They know how to get you. I don't know 
know if I'm dropping ammo because I'm doing great at not being hit, or if I'm dropping a lot of ammo because this hex gun drops a lot of ammo. Ah! We got the bouncing weapons. Nope. Not today! Come back next time. Uh, ooh. So that's the map girl. But she needs a key too. And instead of keys, I've already mentioned I would rather have these. These are way superior to keys. Hopefully we find a key. Good job of not getting hit, too. Like, I'm feeling pretty good about this whole run on this floor. Last floor, not so much, but this floor, this floor's been a good floor. All right, let's shoot some bees out of this beehive we just bought at whatever boss we get. Looks like it's gonna be the Gorgon. All right, bees away. And of course, we have to hide. There we go. Okay, and I have also received a copy, which is great. I love copy. But look at this. We got a uh, master round for the second chamber. We get the shotgun shell that shoots that. Hold on a sec. My daughter's trying to talk to me here. Pardon? I should. What? I can't hear you. Speak up. I just said coffee? I know I said coffee. Okay, I'm gonna finish this run. We get this shell that shoots out shotguns, that shoots out uh, shells when it hits people. I think it is brilliant at taking down rooms, right? Clearing rooms is probably better than our light gun. But we also, I mean, that light gun's really good. Do we really wanna give up the light gun? On to floor three. Whew. All right, the black powder mine. Will we be able to get through it today? We can't always. And today is the day. This is not my favorite weapon. I'm gonna go back to the hexagon. Killing things when I want them to die is a really valuable thing. Right, like we like it when things die when we want them to. Maybe this is a hexagon thing, because we just keep getting more ammo. Whoa. Say there's something here that there's still something. There he is. Otherwise, we would have had that ammo flying at us. There's something over here, I think. Is there a torch here? Usually, that means something. Oh, it's a shrine. A shrine of glass. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. So we get uh, these uh, Guan stones. That's cool. Doesn't look like we lost anything. We're gonna go 
those away. Whew. Good use a blank on that room. That was kind of rough. But as you see, one of the goals was to get better at using blanks. And so far, it's been a success. Oh, look, there's another thing up here. Ah, it's a muncher. Uh, I might munch the shell, but I don't want to munch the beehive. This, I still don't know what to do in there, and I don't want to risk it. Lost so many hearts in there over time. If I died in that room, I would feel really bad. Okay, so we got a cell over here. <laughs> this guy again, whose hat we keep knocking down. He always has to come back and find his hat. But he hasn't, he hasn't done anything for me yet, so I don't know if, like, saving him ever gonna actually do anything for me. Whoa. Jump over there. Oh, that was a rough one. But we made it. Okay, what do we got over here? We got uh, metronome. I don't know what that does. Fire up music notes, maybe. An ice bomb, some keys, some hearts. Oh, weird. This room has scan lines. That strikes me as incredibly weird. Does it have scan lines? No, maybe it's just the carpet. It's a really strange effect. Selkie, save our friend, and get this ammo box. And there's a warp in here, so we can go back to his cell now. He's probably not going to be too happy with us, even though we're saving him. I found it, again. I don't know why you did that. Please don't do it again. Now I just have to find my way out. I guess I'll see you later. He's not too happy with us. All right, let's head down here. So far, this is being a pretty good run. Can't complain about this. Of course, uh, the hollow points sometimes sneak up behind you, so you gotta worry about them a tiny bit. There's a blue chest there. We still have a muncher. There's still a possibility that we could get a red chest or a black chest or a rainbow chest, so we'll wait. Oh. Okay, that's gonna go up. We're looking for guys who are sneaking up on us. That's always the thing for us to watch out for. But so far, so good. This, uh, this rifle's pretty good for us. Ah, oh, it's the red chest! We gotta get it! I don't even care what's the rest. We gotta get it. Heart of Ice. That's cold. It's a passive. Uh, fires ice projectiles and taking damage. This icy heart was torn from a mighty frost giant. Yeah, we've done that before. And it gives us an extra heart for five hearts. <laughs> So far, so good. Okay, here's the boss. I think I'm ready to fight the boss. Let's just do this. 
what? Speak of not having fought a door. I guess this means he did make it to floor three. Super cool. The door lord, hidden threat. Whoa. Ah! Ah! See if we can just get you a bees. I don't know why I didn't pull out bees immediately. Apparently, we also have one of these. Got him! And the door bites the dust. Wow. We'll take that. What do they give us? A heck blaster. Why do I think a heck blaster is terrible? Extremely rapid fire. Used by a wiggly hero. Oh, yes. I've had this before. And I don't mind it terribly. But compared to the other things I have... I don't like it, so we'll feed it. And we'll also give it the shell. And another gun that I think should be good, but hasn't been terribly good for me. Guns, process, hot new gun. We'll take the Mega Man Blaster. It says P, because that's uh, what it said in the original Mega Man. The Mega Hand is a relic of the Ten Days War against the robots. The most powerful robot masters would modify it for their own styles of combat. This one is basic, but it still works well. And it says charge. I wonder if that means it has a charge shot. It does. I don't particularly like it as much as the hexagon, but it might be okay. Uh, so do I clear out the floor or do I go? That's an interesting question. The metronome is 91. I don't know what the metronome is. Is it a gun? Uh, I guess I'll fight some more on this floor. Floor 4 is going to be a beast, so if we can pick up more stuff here, we should. Let's fight all the guys in the carts, because I don't want to deal with them. You're in a mine cart. You gotta die, bud. There we go. Oh. And we get another one of these. We'll take it. I'm pretty sure it wasn't in a video, but one time I pushed a table into a pit, and it just happened to be an unlock. I unlocked uh, tabletop rockets, which is where if you flip a table, It'd shoot off like a rocket. I haven't gotten it yet, but I did unlock it. And I thought that was really funny as a way to get an unlock. Like, I don't even know why I, was, why I thought to push a table in the pit. It was just like, you know what I could do? I could just throw a table into a pit. And then I'd be good to go. I should do that. All right, Chamber 4, The Hollow. This is as far as we've gotten. Haven't gotten past Chamber 4 yet. Still not really familiar with the enemy patterns down here. I think last time I got here, it was just full of jams. Which are like harder versions of regular guys. Oh, and Hollow's down on Hollow. We get some Hollow points down here. Wah! Not today! Not today, God of Death. Whoa! Oh! 
Holy cow! I am glad to have a piercing weapon. Like, is it that guy? Maybe that guy was summoning him, right? Like, I don't know. And they didn't give me an ammo after that room. Also get ice stuff down here. Which, ah! Give me a giant pain in the backside! Whoa! Game is getting harder. I don't understand. Like that room seems like it should be something. <laughs> I don't understand what it's supposed to be or how it works. These uh socialist rooms get really hard. What is that? Whatever it is, it's a chicken now. Maybe that Hex Blaster wouldn't have been so bad down here, right? Whew. We can see! We can see, we can see! I'm glad I have this hexagon. This hexagon is really good for this stuff. Holy cow. Nope! Got him. Uh, okay, that guy just melted. Sure. I'll take it. I was like, there's gotta be at least one other thing here. And still more. Okay, he's melted. 30 left, we could use another ammo. Ooh, I want that. I could use an upgrade. But I mean, if it's a gun, it's probably not an upgrade. Let's blow up that chicken. I think blowing up that chicken's probably worth a cool point or two. Got him. Got him. Got him. Go chickens. Oh. These chickens are fantastic. I need ammo. Like, void shotgun's kind of interesting. Siren's not. Uh, we got this guy up here. Chest friendship's cool. Heart lock is cool. Frickin' cash, I have no idea. Maybe that increases cool. But ammo... Ammo is good. And I don't have any keys, and you don't want to sell me any keys. There's not much I can do with that. Alright, this way. Got a refilled gun. There we go. Uh, there's something else here, though. Sure. Alright, onward. I did learn on a previous run, if someone is in a circle chanting, you kill them immediately. You 
do not suffer them to live. Once again, having keys would be real helpful. Ah! I suspect that that room is not worth it. Yep, that room, not worth it. That's a trap, my friends. All right, we go this way. <laughs> we teleported directly onto a chicken, which blew him up immediately. Uh, you know, if I don't die, this could be a problem for my recording. Ah. Oh. All right, that wasn't bad. I feel like the footwork's pretty good there. Oh, beehive. We beehive the boss. This is our first time seeing this boss. We have not seen a fourth floor boss before. So I can take a screenshot. I usually do. Kill pillars. Hearts of stone. How to kill. Whoa, my gosh. Whoa, my gosh. How to kill pillars. Feel about bees. One kill pillar dead. No, we gotta get in there. Oh! Whew. We are dead to the kill pillars, but they didn't seem too bad as a boss compared to some other bosses that we've seen. And it only took us 30 minutes to get to the boss of floor four, which feels pretty good because usually it takes about that long just to get down to floor four. So, uh,. I think we did pretty, pretty good. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed, please like, share, subscribe, as always, and uh, take care. We'll see you next time for more Into the Gungeon.